Hi, my fellow BJD. This is Monica from YouTube. It's been a while since I actually did a BJD um, video, so, well, it's my turn to do the video this right now. I'm going to do P BJD prompt number 10, which is talks about Halloween, and BJD number 11, which is talks about actually favorite features of the dolls, and also BJD um, number 12, which is talks about meetups. Okay, so here we go with BJD number 10, talks about Halloween. Well, for this year Halloween, I well, I did a couple of things for the dolls, but I didn't especially dress them up. Um, it was one thing because I didn't actually look for outfits or make for outfits, but I actually did take them to like uh, just a few for Halloween meetups for doll groups. So at the end of this video, I definitely show a couple pictures of the BJD meetups with the Halloween theme. And also special appearance of my dolls at my workplace. Alright, so, so that's something for, to look forward to. And as for BJD number 11, which is talks about favorite feature of the doll. Well, here I have Stella right here. My most important feature of the doll that I really like is actually the face. Uh, anyway, I really love the face. It's one thing that I like is the nose of the doll that it has to be for some reason it has to be sh sharp that it really trusts me and as well as the mouth. For girls, I just, the one thing is the nose. For her, she has a really actually uh, sharp edge nose that you can tell right away from her profile also too. It makes her actually look fully feminine as well as the mouth. It's kind of her mouth is kind of open, so you can take a look at that. And for her, she's actually a, a dragon doll die. Overall, body features. Uh, there is some. Um, Pros and cons. Uh, one thing is that well, actually, when she came, she is actually pretty well strung together, so she actually holds poses pretty well as well too. But the cons is that her um, mobility in her joints, is especially actually. If you take a look at her arm joint, see how the I don't know if you can see. See how they're joined together? But when you bend them, you have to bend this way. So when she's lifting her arm up, she bends this way towards, which is, makes it really awkward to bend her arm. And so when she's when she when you try to bend her arm like this, basically it's it's really awkward position to bend her arms. And also, it's when she, she is still pretty strong together, you might strain and restrain her a couple times. When you're bending her arms, you have to be really careful when you bend her. Because the wand arm was trying to bend her before. It ended up causing a fracture on the side right here, as you can tell. Because on the side of it, the rhythm is really thin. So you have to really be careful when bending her arm and everything. Her legs, her legs are joints are fine. As you can tell. Alright, and then setting her aside, and I'll also show you just a couple more dolls that I have and the features that I like on their body and their face. I'm going to set her aside so I can show you the other dolls. Angel Fantasy, uh, Salmon. Best feature on her face, again, 
It's in the it's the nose. And as well that she has a very sharp chin and also the eyebrows, everything that I really like on her face. And the only bad thing about her body feature is that left her shut shut up really quick. Is that obviously she is very loosely strung together, and I like you can tell her the way that she joins it together from inside. So I don't know exactly how to take her strings apart without without actually cutting it so to restring her because she has a little bit of pulsability problems it's because her legs tend to actually kick backwards it's, she's, it does that all the time without so i have to actually somehow have to restring her i don't really want to cut in the i don't want to cut the elastics but there might be a chance I had to cut it to to actually restring her. So that's the Angel Fantasy segment. I actually renamed her to uh, Mirai. Um, I like Mirai Millennium from Danny Cho. I really like the name, so I just picked the name for her. Okay, let me shut her down really quick. And show you the other rest of the dolls I have. All right, this is a Dika doll. Her, uh, she's uh, blank. Yeah, Blanca. Yes, I actually renamed her to Trixie. The best feature about her face is that. Oh, her face overall has a very uh, childish look to it, so that's the, something that I was looking for Trixie's character when I was looking for a doll for her that fits the character. Again, the best feature of her face is actually her mouth. Her, she also has an actually open mouth, so I find that really cute for, uh, for girls, for a girl doll actually. Well, her, she has, uh, I actually restrained her a couple times and as well as uh, waited her a few, quite a few times. And then, so, she, her possibility is pretty good. And then she actually stands pretty well as too. Except for when she's had these kind of shoes on, she doesn't stand as well as uh, she should be. Cause the, the front of the shoe kind of tips up, if you can see. But I just love her in this outfit. Isn't she cute? Let me pink hair. Anyway, I'm going to set her aside and show you one more doll. Oh, this is something I found on eBay the other day. It's looks like it looks like an iPhone, but technically it's a lighter. Put aside and show you guys really quick see what it is. And here's my big boy. Angel Studio Juan. Uh, of course, I actually renamed it to uh, Mui from uh, Glide, of, Glide of the Water God. I still love that manga. The best feature on his face, I would say, is the, it's the nose as well as the eyes. Because her his eyes are really slanted. That's what something I was looking for the character that I have in mind for Mui. And I really like his default uh, face up, so I don't really want to change it that much. So, and also the best thing about um, Angel Studio dolls 
their dolls, um, when they when the company makes them, all of them they're actually suede. If you look on on the official. On the inside, there's a little plastic, well, sort of like rubber band thing. It's sort of like a way of suiting, so it actually holds portability quite well, too. And I also really love these joints, too. So I don't have a problem moving them around. So he's one of the best dogs that I have for like move, uh, posing, as well as standing, as well as doing anything else. In type of poses, and then the only bad thing is he's a 70, well, one centimeter tall uh, doll, the biggest one that I have, and so he's actually pretty heavy to carry along if, if I go to convention with him all day. Um, so if I usually want to go to conventions, I usually carry uh, Trixie around with me, but good news the other day, obviously. Junkie Spa had a Black Thursday, Black Friday sale. I guess what I did. I'll show you. Just give me a minute. I'm setting it down really quick. Ta ta! Obviously, it's Baby Hujo uh, Swabby. But I have not got a chance to rename her yet. Um, if you guys want to draw a suggestion for names, I'm more than welcome to listen to ideas. But the other day I was uh, randomly went to Toys R Us, bought actually a brass doll dress for her. She's cute. She kind of looks like she really actually reminds me of the the the, the blue fairy from uh, Sleeping Beauty, but I don't exactly remember the blue fairy name, so I don't necessarily don't know what to name her yet. And she kind of looks like like Dalina too when she does that pose right here that she has. Anyway, I'm thinking about adding little wings. To the, to the back of the dress to like make her really look like a fairy. So, yeah. So, if you guys just want to throw out names, I'm more than welcome to listen to ideas. So, that, that's something for you guys to think about. I, yeah, I obviously she is an impulse buy. I don't really have anything ready for her yet. Obviously, you guys don't see I don't have a wig, I don't have eyes, I don't have face up, no shoes, except for this dress that I bought for her just like randomly one day. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, BJ, BJD in prom number 12 talks about meetups. Um, I go to my local BJD meetups, uh, which uh, we have a group of here in the DFW area it's called BJD Listen. Uh, we usually try, we do try to meet up like more than once or twice a week. We have actually have a Facebook page, which, which I will show, uh, share the information with you guys as well. And, and also, they are the dog. They actually host uh, Dollcon and um, Acons every single year, and then last year I actually went there for the first time for Dollcons. So it was pretty. Well, actually, this year, sorry, this year this is the first time they actually host Dollcon. So I went there. It was pretty amazing. Um, so if you guys ever come to Acon, definitely check out Dollcon. It will be there next year as well. They did a Yukon this year but unfortunately I wasn't able to attend to due to prior engagement. Um so you know like we try to do meet up once a week. We usually do is actually go to restaurants or meet up with somebody's houses or go to libraries 
um, lately I have just been able to go to meet up with the restaurants as well as uh, Halloween meetups and um, meet up with one, uh, one of the members' houses for dinner and stuff like that. So it was pretty, it, it is fun to meet different people as well as uh, meeting different type of dolls. So you learn about different things. All right, that should be it, but I'll be showing you the pictures. All right, hope you guys will enjoy.